Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well we've got another sort of CSS hover effect for you today and we've got this sort of broken glass parallax effect and when you move your mouse the broken glass images move around the screen in a sort of opposite direction to your mouse there. It's almost like a little bullet hole through some glass. And you can put a title in and a background. And that's pretty eye-catching. Somebody comes to your site, they're rolling down and that happens. It's going to get their attention pretty quickly. Now this is really easy to do. We've got to do a bit of coding for this today. Don't let that put you off. Any code that I write, I'll put below the video as usual. But actually, it's all a matter of just copying and pasting and changing a few things if you need to. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And we'll go down and we'll start again. What I'll do is I'll go down under this one. I'm going to add a new section. I'm going to make it full width. And I'm going to add a full width code module to it. I'm just going to save that. And we'll delete the one that we've got on top here. OK. Now, they've kind of given us this code today over here at CodePen. And the name of the person is Osiskin. I apologize if I said that wrong. And we've got a little bit of HTML. We've got a little bit of CSS. And we've got a little bit of JavaScript. Like I say, don't let this put you off. It's really easy to do and I'll take you through the process. And here's the example down here. So the first thing I want to do is copy the HTML. So I'm going to select the HTML up here. I'm going to go back to my page, to my code module. Let's go in the code module. And I'm simply going to paste that in the top there. As you can see, it's just put the little word parallax up there. We've got no styling or anything. We'll be doing that next. Now, after we've put in our HTML, we want to put in some CSS code. So we need to drop down a bit and we'll open and close some style tags. Now I can't put this down below because of the pointy brackets, but it's left pointy bracket, the word style, S-T-Y-L-E, and right pointy bracket. When you put that in, it'll put the closing one in there for you, which is exactly the same with a forward slash at the beginning. Now in between here, we can paste any CSS we want to use. So let's go back over to our CodePen page. Now we don't need the body because we've got our own body going on, but anything from parallax onwards we need. So I'm going to select everything from there down. Control C to copy back to our page. And I want to put it in between the two script tags right there. As you can see we've now got our little glass effect going on and that parallax is in there somewhere but it's light in color so we can't see it. But to create the actual movement itself we need some JavaScript. So if we go back to the code pen there We've got the JavaScript on the right hand side here. Again, I'm going to select everything, Control A and Control C to copy. We'll go back to our page. Now at the end of our CSS, after our style tag, closing style tag, we need to open a script tag, which is a similar thing. It's a left pointy bracket, the word script, and close with a right pointy bracket and it puts in the closing one for you and again that's exactly the same just with a forward slash in front of the script there. We can paste the JavaScript that we just copied in between the two tags there. There we go. Now it won't work on the back end here but when we save it should be fine. Okay let's just roll back up a bit and the only thing that I might want to change is the text what it says there you can change the style of it if you want to. If we go down to H1 just down below here. You can change the opacity and the color if you need to and the font type, anything you want to do there. So let's just save this as it is and we'll come back and tweak it in a minute. Let's put a background in our section here so we can see what's going on. I'm going into the section, the purple tab here for a full width section. I want to go to the background and let's put in a bit of a background gradient. I'm going to use black at the top perhaps. 
and maybe purple at the bottom. That's okay. I want it a little bit darker than that. So we can see what's going on. And then for a bit of drama, I'm going to put an image behind and blend the two as well. And because I'm going to do that, I want to take the opacity down slightly, just maybe by 10%, the right hand slider here. You won't see much until we've got an image in there. I'm going to take that down a little bit. And I'm also going to take the black down a little bit. Now I'm going to go over to image. I'm going to add a background image. Let's find something fairly interesting. The cloud one perhaps. Now all you see is the image, but if we roll down a little bit, you've got background image blend. I'm going to change that from normal to overlay. And there's a little bit of it in the background there, which is fine. Now we've got that going on. I can't read that parallax really well, so I want to take the opacity of that up a little bit and we'll put in our own title. So let's go back into the module itself. Where it says parallax right there in between the two H1 tags, be careful not to clip off the pointy brackets there. Just put in whatever you want. And I can see that somewhat, but like I say, I'd like to, it to be a little more visible. So if we roll down a bit to our H1, you see the H1 in the CSS down below here. Color is white. I'm going to leave that as it is. But the opacity is only 0.2. And 0.2 is not very opaque. For instance, if I change that to 1 so it's fully visible, you can see it really, really well. Let's take it to maybe 50%, 0 0.5 or 0.5 will do. Well, that's better, we can read that a little bit better. If you want to bring it up further, that's entirely up to you. And if you want to style it further, just add your scripts to here. You can make it bold. There's the font size right there. It's all being transformed to uppercase. Font family being used is Arial. So you can change any of those to change it how you want. But I'm fairly happy with that. I think I might take the opacity just down a bit on those colors. I'm seeing too much of that cloud through there. So I'm going to go back into my section here, background, and I just want to take the opacity up just slightly on these colors so it's not revealing quite as much of that image. That one and the purple one. Just down a little bit more. And of course, if you want to, you can make it radial so it emanates out from the middle if you want to and change all the gradient directions. Play with it and have some fun. But I'm fairly happy with that. So let's save what we've got here. Save the page changes. And exit the visual builder. And there it is. There's our little parallax broken glass title effect. Like I say, that's pretty eye-catching. That's going to get your attention pretty quickly. So there you go, guys. That's how to create a parallax broken glass effect with mouse movement using the Divi theme and a bit of code. And thanks goes to Osiskin again. Again, if I said that wrong, I apologize. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.